This morning, a Twitter account belonging to the country's ruling party claimed the 93-year-old and his family were being detained and are safe, both for the constitution and the sanity of the nation. It claimed that the elderly president had been taken advantage of by his wife, Grace, who had been seen as a possible successor to her husband. Former Vice President Emerson Munangagwa, 75, a veteran of Zimbabwe's 1970s liberation wars who was sacked by Mugabe earlier this month, has returned from exile and has been named ZANU-PF's new interim president. Last night, Zimbabwe's military stormed the country's national broadcaster studios to declare it is targeting criminals amid fears of a coup after reports of explosions and gunfire in the capital. You are the nation that His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe, and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him. Finance Minister Ignatius Chombo, a leading member of the so-called G40 faction of the ruling ZANU-PF party, led by Mugabe's wife Grace, had also been detained by the military, a government source said. The U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe had ordered employees and U.S. citizens in the African nation to take cover and seek shelter on Tuesday after gunfire was heard near the home of the 93-year-old president, sparking fears of an armed military takeover. Soldiers stormed the headquarters of state broadcaster ZBC in the early mornings of Wednesday. Two members of staff and a human rights worker told Reuters as staff complained they were manhandled by the military members. After taking control of the station, the military released a statement which denied a coup was underway, adding that Mugabe and his family were safe and sound and their security is guaranteed.